Being a Hilltopper is, is being a champion. It means so much to be able to wear those three letters across my chest every day. I just had so many great memories from being a Hilltopper that it's just been so much fun. Going out and showing pride in what you do and trying to accomplish and be the best athlete you can be. You got to be on top of your education, your studies. I feel like at Western, you just belong somewhere, whereas other people, they just see you as athletes and they want you just to win games and make their school better. But the fans and everything else actually care about you and you can't mimic that or fake that and that's why Western's so different from everywhere else. I knew that this is where I needed to be and it was, I had that family feel, the same feel that I had when I was at home. They know what I do, they know where I come from, they know my PRs, they know who I am as a person and I think that's the most important thing of being a Hilltopper. And I chose Western over all the other schools basically just because of the, the great baseball, the great campus and just the family atmosphere. Um, it's been a lot, you know, there's a lot of tradition outside of uh, these sports and like outside of women's basketball and all the sports, so just to be a small part of that, um, it's really meant a lot. Honestly, the guys have been like a small little family away from my family, so like the bonds that we share with each other, just the little fun things we do behind the scenes that people don't even know about, it's just something I'll cherish forever. From last year and this year, we had two great groups of girls and, um, you know, great coaches that I will dearly miss, and so uh, I think that that's probably just what I'll miss the most is just stepping on the dirt every day with them and you know, just being around the culture on the campus. One of my most memorable moments is probably the UK game uh, my senior year. It kind of was our, my last game and no one thought that we could really make it that far and we made it that far and just to be able to play that high caliber of a team and put out our best effort. Everyone played great and I feel like that will be the lasting memory that I have with Western and volleyball. I won indoor conference in the 60 hurdles and my coach, um, Coach Johnson, he, uh, he passed away last year. He always, you know, believed in me and told me, you know, if you do this, like this will happen. And just that moment when I crossed the finish line and I went to like shake his hand and he was like, nah, give me a hug because he knew like, you know, I was excited and he was happy for me, so. What will you miss the most? Uh, probably the atmosphere in Diddle. Um, we have great fans. I think we have the best fans in the nation. And um, just the family atmosphere here and um, just spending time with my teammates and coaches. Winning conference championships and the celebration afterwards and um, sending those seniors out with a good note. And, you know, just being a part of that celebration and that, you know, moment, you know, raising the trophy. College really makes you realize like the people that you go through these events with for all four years will be the people that will be, probably be in your life for the rest of your life because they've seen the good, the bad, and the ups and the downs. I think being around all the people with my teenagers has just become really close and I'm going to miss being around them every day. I think that I would tell myself as a freshman that it's all worth it. All 182 pound Mike White freshman year. Um, it would be a lot of advice. I'd tell them to uh, Quit wearing Sperry's all the time. Uh, use a little less product in your hair, and then just uh, enjoy it, because it goes by really fast. It's a uh, blink of an eye, you're done. I played five years, and, and even that's longer than normal, and, and it still feels like it was just a blink of an eye like that. I would just say enjoy your teammates, and, and enjoy the, the things that you think that aren't, aren't too much fun, because you, you'll miss it, I promise. If you really want to achieve something great, Make sure that the, you do the little things, going to bed on time, eating right, making smart decisions, because in the end, the little things do lead to bigger things happening. I think that everyone tells you when you come in that it's going to be like the fastest four years of your life. And as a freshman, you're like, oh my gosh, this is going to go so slow. But now it's honestly the fastest four years of my life. Everyone has been, everybody has helped me. I just want to tell them thanks. The people here is what's really made this an awesome experience for me. And so thank you for that. It takes a lot of people to get where we are and to do what we do every day and to perform how we do and the success that has been achieved. I would just like to thank all of them. You guys are some of the best coaches and some of the best staff members I have ever seen in my college career. Like, cause I did go to Tulane, but I also transferred. And when I transferred, I visited so many other schools and 
just an overwhelming factor of me coming here was how great and how loving that I could immediately see that the staff and the people were here at Western. Uh, just thank you for having me as a teammate. Thanks for coaching me and I'll always be a Hilltopper and, and thank you and I love y'all. I'd love to thank my teammates for welcoming me to Western the best they could. Definitely being an older guy, but they definitely welcomed me. Thanks for making these past four years some like the time that I'll never forget. I mean, just from traveling, the relationship, it's just something I'll never forget and helped me grow on and off the court. Thank you for uh, believing in me all four years and never giving up and then just thank you for being the best teammates I could ever ask for. Thank you for the memories. Thank you for all the opportunities. I mean, these last four years are is something I will never forget. Go Tops! Go Tops! Go Tops! Go Tops! Go Tops! Go Tops. Go tops.